Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, okay, that's really great. So you're early today. And that's great. And that's also okay. So today is the continuation of our class. But how are you? Or how was your day yesterday? Or how was your weekend? Uh, yesterday? Yeah. Um, weekend? Yes. How is your weekend? Um, just, just, oh, fine. So, just fine. Nothing special? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so today is the continuation of our class. And we will just going to continue um, the one that we had last meeting. And I think um, you are now in the reading comprehension or activity about the topic that we had. So are you ready to start? Yes. Okay. So now I will going to share your book out to you. Yes. Here, can you see your book now? Can you see your book okay. now, Joshua? Yes. Yes. So now we are here in number five of your book. Do you have your book with you? Yes. Yes, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no book. Okay, it's all right. So now we will go into start or we will just go into continue here in number five. So this is all about in lines 35 to 38 where you need to um answer some words. Okay, so let's start with letter A. So here there is or here is the word incorporate. So what does it mean? What does the word incorporate mean? Incorporate? Yes. Um, include. Okay, very good. Include. Okay, so for an example is like you are baking. Okay, so you will go into incorporate all the ingredients or you will go into include all the in ingredients um needed. Okay, now let's have here letter B. How about what is the word humorous means? Humorous? Yes. Uh, healthy? Healthy? For example, I meet the person yesterday and he has a lot of sense of humor. That's why we are really, we have a fun. Yeah, fun. Because humorous is like those people who are funny, meaning they have the the personality that makes other people happy. Okay? So how about you? Um, are you a humorous person? Are you are you a humorous person? Yes. Yes, I think it's really great. Now, let's have here the page 983, rather. Okay, number 6, lines 40 to 46. So in this one, we have the word, we have this phrase. What ails us? So what does it refers to? What ails us? Ails us? Yes. For example, um, if you walk... What if makes you... the sick? Oh, uh. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, yeah, yeah. That's right. What ails us is what makes us sick. For example, if we ate a lot of... Um, if we ate a lot of... Teacher? Unhealth, yes? Uh, uh, yes. What is it? Uh, yes. Uh, I can't hear you, so. Okay, wait for a moment. Can you hear me now? Uh, I can. Yes. Okay. So once again, what ails us is like those, for example, earlier is that if we eat a lot of unhealthy food, okay, that makes us sick. Okay. That's why it is important if we, if we must eat healthy food. Now, here in letter B, 
you have the word or this phrases, the science backing, backing that up is thin. So what does the word backing up means? Backing up means. Backing up, staying yes. behind and then supporting. Okay, supporting. Very good. Like for example, um, back up dancers. Okay, so back up dancers are those dancers who support the main dancers. That's it. Now let's have here letter C. Um, the word is leads to. What does it mean? Leads to. Leads to. Yes. Um, please to ask someone to uh, um, no, 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 my teacher. No. Okay, take your time. Yes, okay, causes to start. Yes, that's the one. Very good. Okay, like in other words, it is someone who leads you or, for example, is the leader, right? So leader is the one who causes the start of something. Leader. Now, let's have here letter D. Sets off. What does it mean? Sets off? Yes. Mm -hmm. Release. Okay. That, um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that one is release because um sets up is like um what do you call it? Begin something or releasing something. So meaning the word or the answer is releases. Okay. Do you have any more questions here? No. No questions. Now let's have here number seven. So this is about lines 49 to 53. So here is the word restricted. What does it mean? Limited. Yeah, it's limited. Okay. For example, um, for you as a kid or as a student or as a child, so what are the restricted things for you? Or what is the restricted things to you? Cell phone use hours. Oh, so, so use of cell phones for a lot of hours. Okay. Yes. Is that all? Yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Okay. So... And playing it, outside. Oh, oh, and playing outside? Why? Um, the time to play outside. Also, there is a lot, an allotted time for you to play outside and also to play your phone. Is that right? Yes. So, for example, <clears throat> how many hours can you play or can you use your phone? How many hours can you play or use your phone? One hour? Oh, 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, 30 minutes a day? Yes. Ah, okay. That's, that's good. Okay. Now let's have here letter B. Prescriptions. Prescriptions oh, is strict. Instructions. Okay, very good. You got it right. Now, how about here in number eight? So this is about lines 54 to 61. So here is the passage or phrase. Funding for laughter and humor research is low. So what does this sentence mean? Funding for laughter and humor research is low. So what does this sentence mean? Uh, 
Looking for Lester and the human space. It's important. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, many people are war. Oh, no, no. It's difficult to get this one. Yes, okay. Um, so because funding is like a certain or a, an allotted money for something or for the research. So meaning, um, it's difficult to get money to support this research. The research that's why it is low. Okay. So now let's have here, um, letter B. So Bennett study showed that when watching a humorous movie, okay, once again, humorous means funny. What does it mean? Uh, humorous means funny. Yes. So yes. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, let's start to show the watching our humans. People only live out loud if they think a movie is a humor, right? Yes. Okay, good. Now let's have your number nine. So in number nine, you will be having words again. So the word here is contradictory. Contradictory. What does it mean? Story. Yeah, contradictory. What does it mean? Okay. Opposing. Yes, opposing. Very good. Or in other words, it's contradicting or opposite. Okay, good. Now, let's have here the next one. So, here is the next week for a moment. Okay, number nine, letter B. Your mood refers to what? Your mood. What does the word mean? What does what mean? Mood. Mood, feeling. How do you feel? Very good. So right now, what is your mood right now? Mm -hmm. Just so so. Just so so. Okay. Thank you. Now let's have here number 10. So you have the word pouring over. Pouring over. What does it what does the word or what does the phrase mean? Praise me. Pouring. Um, or what is pouring? Okay, so pouring means to study. Study? Yes. Like for example, um, healthier or if you want to have a grade or a higher um, points on your exam, you need, um, you need uh, an hour's of pouring over the lecture. If you want to have a great um great score in your exam, you need to spend hours pouring on your lecture. Or you need to spend hours in reviewing your lecture. Okay. Because pouring means study. Do you know the yes. answer now? Mm. Or we, um, studying something carefully. Yes, very good. Because pouring over means studying something very carefully. Okay, good. So now we will go into move on now in the next one because we don't have um the passage and this is to um too far from the pages 
Now let's have here the vocabulary skill. So here in the vocabulary skill, again, you have already know this activity where you need to complete its sentences with the correct word from the left. Okay, so the nouns may be singular or plural. Singular or plural. Those nouns can be or may be singular or plural. Okay, let's have here number one. Funny movie increased their ability and able. Ability able. Okay. So, singular. Okay, look at this one. What study showed the woman? Woman? Yeah. Let's at the funny movie increase their ability. Okay, ability to prevent diseases. In other words, um, their immune system were able to fight illnesses. Okay, now let's have here the next one. Number two, active and activity. activity yes um, some doctors believe that an activity active sense of humor mm -hmm. active sense of humor and daily activity are you sure daily activity activity yes okay remember daily blank such as watching funny movie or reading humorous story there are two things. Are you sure with your noun? Activity. Remember, your noun can be or may be a singular or plural. The next sentence, daily blank. Uh, daily activities. Okay, so that's why it's important that you should read the whole um, phrases. Okay, so daily activities such as watching movie, one, and reading humorous story, two, can make us laugh, too. Good? Now, let's have here the next one. For a moment. In number three, hostile and hostility. In this study, Dr. Miller asked question to measure a participant's anger and Hostilities. In this study, Dr. Miller asked questions to measure the participants' anger and hostility. Okay, hostility. And then we found that found the people home. with heart disease left less and were more hostile mm -hmm. than people with heart disease. I agree. So, but what does the word hostile mean? What does the word hostile mean? This one. Hostile? Yes. What does it mean? What does the word hostile mean? I don't know. I think the word hostile means unfriendly. Okay. Any questions? No. No. Now let's have your number four. Um, possible and possibility. Mm. There is a possibility that laughter really is good for our health. 
As a result, Dr. Miller leave is possible. I think possible. So good. So your noun is correct because um in the first sentence there is the word is, meaning it is singular. That's why your noun is on also singular. Now let's have the last one, number five. Similar and similarity. Um, view of the letter studies had similar similar results. There are not many similarities. Similarities. Good, thank you. Because there is the word many. That's why you changed the noun or the similarity to plural form. Good job. Okay, now let's have here the last one. So part two, which where, where you will be having the phrasal verbs. So at first, you need to match its phrasal, phrasal verb with the correct meaning. Then complete each sentence with the correct phrasal verb on the left. Then, and then, you will going to use the simple past form of the verb if necessary and use each phrasal verb only once. Oh, wait for a moment. Okay, you can start now. Um, back up. Support. Find out. Discover little um, okay, what this cause to begin look into investigate rely on depend on respond to react to set of cause. What is the respond to again? Yes. Respond to Respond to? Yes. Or react to? React to, set off. No. Yeah, the, the answer is correct. Number seven, what is the word or what is the answer in set off? Set off? Yes, please. Uh, cause. Okay, cause. And how about find out? Find out, discover. Discover, very good. Okay, good. So did you go to school today? Yes. Okay, so what is something that you find out or discover earlier in school? What is something that you find out or discover earlier at school? Earlier in school. Yes. What did you find out or discover earlier in school? Because you went to school, right? Yes. So, so did you discover something? Or did you find out something about the topic or the lesson that you had? Mm. Mm, no. Uh, no? <laughs> okay, okay. No worries. Okay. Now, let's have here the next one. So next one. Okay. You wait for a moment. Oh, so we need to uh, write um, the free silver again. Wait for a moment. Oh, you don't have your book with you, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So I will just go into write... Um, down this because you don't have the book. Wait for a moment. Mm -hmm. Buck up is what again? Support. Um, find out. Discover. 
do you do? Um, what is your answer again in lead to? Let's try to have a quick review. Lead to. Hello? Yes. Lead, lead to. Let's try to have a quick Cost to begin. Okay, very good. Cost to begin. Next one. Um, look into. Discover. Hmm? Find out is discover. Look oh, into. yes. Investigate. Okay, investigate. Next one. Rely on. Oh, Re depend on. <laughs> okay. Depend on. Um, respond to. Reactive. Reactive, very good. And last one? Pause. Set up. Yes? Pause. Okay. So those are the choices that you will be having to answer this one, the next one. Wait. Okay, here. So can you see this one? Let me try to make it big. Okay, so let's start with number one. Mary Bennett. And you can choose here. Um, and this at the words that we have. I wanted to find out. I can find out. For a moment. Find out. Be okay, good. How about number two? Number two? Yes. Research may lead to cause to begin or lead to. I don't think so. Okay, Dr. Miller's research may blank his idea that laughter can prevent heart attacks because the old saying he quoted is not enough to support his idea. Lead to is not the correct answer. So what is the better answer for this one? Hello? Yes? What is the better answer in number two? Because lead to is not the answer. Answer. Yes, number two or your answer in number two is not correct. So I'm I am asking, what do you think is the correct answer or the be the, the better answer for number two? Mm. Um. You already have the clue here. I, I already underlined it. Support. I pick up. Okay, so that's why, Joshua, it is better to um, read the whole <clears throat> phrases or sentence before you answer. Back up. Because to back up his idea or to back up his old saying, his research is now helping or supporting his old saying. Okay, now let's have your number three. And that dress can sometimes mm, you think will build up a pattern, collection. Ah, 
lead to. Have we teacher? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Set off. Okay, set off. Very good. So mental stress can be the cause or set off a build up of fat and cholesterol in the coronary arteries and ultimately lead to a heart attack. So meaning um, stress is the cause of those illnesses. Okay, number four. Number four, please, if you are ready. Uh, number four. Oh, wait, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Miller found the people with heart disease Um, disease um, lead to okay. so um are you sure yes okay. wait for a moment dr miller found that people with heart disease lead to everyday situation less humorously because remember um those people who had or who already have heart disease is less humorously or they are not happy anymore than the those people without the history of heart disease so lead to is not the correct answer So, because the answer in number four is rely to, okay? Because they are now relying on or rely on. They are now relying on their diseases, okay? So, they are relying on their diseases where they are not giving themselves to be happy anymore, okay? Rely on. Now, let's have your number five. Number five. You can answer if you are ready. Um, Dr. Miller used a series of multiple choice and search to look into. Okay, look into or investigate how much or how little people love in a certain situation. Okay, how about number six? Last two. Uh, laughter release endorphins in the brain, which... Um, Respond to. Okay, very good. Respond to. Okay, good. Now let's have your number seven. Last one. Um, lead, lead to. Okay, lead to. Hey, do you have any questions here? No. Okay, so thank you for answering this one and you all get the correct answer. So let's try to move in now in the vocabulary context where you will be having this one again. Okay, so let's start with, okay. Oh, no, we need to write the words again. Okay, wait for a moment. And voting in the United States is um, 
Okay, you want to start now with number one. Oh. Is restricted. I think. Okay, vomiting in the U.S. or United States is blank. Only people over the age of 18 are permitted to vote. Okay, restricted. Okay, good. Now let's have your number two. Hmm. number two. Um, just if I has an important like. For over. Okay, for over. Very good. Because once again, the for or pouring is like the study. Good. Now, how about number three? Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Three, those yes. decisions to move across the country has big, oh, oh, big, big impairment. Impairment? No, I don't I... impairment. I oh, so you are asking for the meaning of impairment? Yes. Okay. So the word impairment is like um the act of impairing something or the state of conditioning of, of being. For example, um impairment, the loss of it is like the loss of abnormality of psychology and something. And another example is like that. Um, impairment means like you are impairly, um, impairly lost. You, are, you lost something. For example, you lost your eyesight, meaning you are blind, deaf, or deafness, loss of sight, loss of hearing, or loss of limb. You are impairly lost okay another one it is like um you are this disabled impairment you are disabled ah yes disabled i know so Joe, his decision move to across the country has a blink big blank for his whole family because his wife will need to find a new job and his children will go to a new school. Oh, wait, teacher. Okay, take your time. Oh yes, we'll need 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 need. Okay, we can um go back to that one later. Yes. So how about number four? After Jessica loves her college, she wants to go to the university in this city. Um. Ultimately. Ultimately, she hopes to get a good job as well. Make it. 
Now let's have here the next one. A5. Five. Mm -hmm. um, we watched a humorous movie. Okay, humorous. Very good. That's why they make it laugh so hard. That's that where their stomach started to hurt. Number six. Number six, please. Six, please. Oh, now tell us to be healthy. It's important always. Number six. Mm, to always eat fresh fruit. Okay, what is the answer? Eat. She thinks it's important to always eat. Implications. Oh, no. Oh. Fresh fruit and vegetables. So what do you need on those? Oh. Oh. Sorry, hostile impairment implication incorporate or mood. Oh, incorporate. Yes, incorporate. Very good. Now, how about number seven? Uh, I am in a very bad mood. Mood, okay. Eight. My brother has a hearing impairment. Impairment, okay, because impairment means disability. Number nine. The uh, weather report for today are contradictory. Contradictory. A contradictory. Okay, number 10. The clerk at the grocery store is very hostile yeah. to the customers. Very good. Have very hostile to the customer or the clerk was very unfriendly. So meaning number four or number three is the um implication. Okay? Yes. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, no. So now we don't have much time for today's class, but I I'm glad that we um we had our class tonight. So that will be all. Okay, am I right? Um fifty. Yeah. Thank you for today's class. Okay, so do you have any questions before we end? No. Okay, so thank you for your time and have a good night. Bye. Bye, bye, teacher. Thank you.